Let's see how to use the NetEmule program to simulate a routed network using the RIP routing protocol. Here we have three subnets or three networks. LAN 1 is the 110.110.10.0 network. LAN 2 is the 120.120.120.0 network. LAN 3 is 130.130.130.0 and like the other two, each is composed of two computers connected via a switch to a router port. Now, the first thing we need to do is to configure each subnet or each LAN correctly for IP. So let's start with our router port and we'll configure the network card on LAN 1 to be one on network 110, 110, 110. We'll make this device number 1 and it has a standard 255.255.255.0 subnet mask class C. Notice that I've already configured LAN, the LAN 2 interface and the LAN 3 interface using the tabs above. And that didn't quite work out, so I'll just do it again. That's okay. Uh, now let's configure the computers. And we need to give each computer an IP address, which in this case is 110, 110, 110. This will be device number two. Same net mask. And we also need to give this a default gateway. In other words, we need to tell it explicitly the address of the router on the network. We, we uh, set that up as device number one, and let's enable routing. For computer number two, we'll set up its IP address also. It's also on network 110, 110, 110. This will be device number 3. Also 255, 255, 2550. And let's set its gateway to the router address on the 110. router address is device number one, and we will enable routing. Okay, we now have correctly configured the IP addresses for LAN number one. LAN number two and LAN number three already have correctly configured IP addresses, as you can tell from the green indicators on each network device. Now for the router, in NetEmule we need to enable routing. And let's take a look at the routing table. We have three routes uh, where we have three destination networks and a gateway interface to each one. A gateway address and an interface address to each one. What we're, we could create static routes, but let's instead add the RIP table. Excuse me, the, the uh, RIP routing pro 
program to the router. Okay, so there's the RIP routing program. We'll click OK, and now we should be ready to go. Let's try sending some data. Let's send data from this device, and let's send 50k of UDP packets to a device on network 3. And we see our 50k of UDP coming out from computer 1 through the switch directly to the router because we've configured the gateway address from the router. Uh, the router has auto is, is sending out uh, auto discovery packets. It has um, identif it, it is identifying the um, correct receiving computer. The receiving computer is sending a packet saying uh, it's here. It's ready to receive. Follow this route, and the router then sends the 50k of UDP into LAN 3 through the switch and only to the receiving computer. The 50k has been sent and since it's UDP there is no acknowledgement. Let's see how the same system can be used to test a TCP uh, signal. This time let's send from LAN 1, but let's send TCP, and we'll see how that behaves very differently. Let's send it also to LAN 3. And let's see what happens. Instead of sending 50k of packets, first we get a packet that goes right from the, the source to the destination to make sure that, there, that the destination can be found and that it is ready to receive. Notice that the um, an acknowledgement packet gets sent back only from the receiving computer. And that finds its way back to the sending computer. The routing table should now be complete. And shortly we should see a TCP connection begin. We have the first chunk of TCP data being sent from the sending computer through the switch to the router. The router again has auto-discovered through the RIP protocol the correct port. It sends it into LAN 3 and the switch directs it directly to the receiving computer. The receiving computer will send an acknowledgement that that has been received. Since TCP uh, makes a best effort to, uh, to guarantee reception, uh, packets must be verified and confirmed. And as the confirmation packet gets back to the sending computer, the next bunch of TCP data is sent until all 56k has been sent. Now let's stop the animation and just show you where to find the software. Uh, if you go to http netemule.sourceforge.net you can download the free NetEmule LAN emu uh, network emulator. Uh, and this is running on Ubuntu Linux. Thank you.